What we're going to do now is have a look at colour mixing but using a slightly different medium. And this is something that would be really quite exciting. What you need to do is to get some uh, hand craft dyes. They come in bottles like this. Uh, they're very strong. You can see the quantity is 500 mil and they last for ages. And again, using the three primary colours of red, blue and yellow, we can have a look and see how we can use those. Now, as I said, those are far too strong and far too great a quantity to actually use with children in the classrooms. If you're going to do some printing, then what you need to do is dilute this dye, but you need some way of actually saving it. So what I do is actually create my own stamp pad. And this is with a palette, it's a typical sort of school palette, cutting out some circles of sponges, uh, putting the dye into the, uh, onto the sponge, keeping it nice and wet. And then if you get a piece of, um, just a piece of junk that you want, if it's wet, you press it in and it's nice and moist. It'll keep the ink. If it dries up, which it might do, you just add more water to it and it reactivates. And then you can use that to print. Um, let's try on a piece of paper. That would be helpful. So you, it, it, what you're doing essentially is creating a stamp just by using the stamp repeated shapes you can create the design and obviously even though this is a piece of plastic this is a plastic old film canister it does actually keep the dye and it's much better much more effective than paint. So that's one way of using colour. The other way to use colour is to um, work on a resist technique uh, which we'll have a look at. So I've got some photographs which we can have a look at in a moment. Um, using uh, ordinary masking tape, tape it down onto a piece of fabric but what I also tend to do is to put the dyes into these diffuser bottles and again small amounts so one for each colour and just see what happens so we can be a little bit wild here but just spray the colour on see what happens add a bit of blue and you can see the way we start to get all the primary and secondary colours, some yellow, and a really interesting, exciting way of exploring colour mixing with children.